All right, so as you can see, I have found my tripod and I have my cinch out. So um, one of the things I did do before I started was I took this piece of scrap cardboard and I punched along the edges a couple of times so that I could get any of that black residue that I found when I was punching. I had used some scrap, just printer paper, and it every time I punched it, I was still getting black. So I'm hoping now that um, I've punched it through some cardboard that I won't get any of that. So let me see if I can find another piece of printer paper and see if we're getting any more black. Uh, and there's a little bit, but it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. All right, so all right, now here we have our five by seven and I'm going to um, put that in here and on here it says to punch you look at the inches and over here we find five inches and it says to pull peg 10 so we're going to pull peg 10 out and punch all right and that looks great even on both sides all right and we're going to do the other one and we still have peg 10 pulled out Alright, so now we have two pieces that are punched. Let me show you the other side since you can see that better. Alright, and it looks nice. Alright, okay, so now I have those and I have my sheets. I'm going to put in metal. I don't know how many I can do at a time, so I'm just going to test this out. Job. Got a little bit of black on there. Um, and I've got about 20 sheets here, I think. This time I'm only going to put about five. Yeah, that went through easier. I can put about five in there. It did about probably 10 the first time, but you could probably do more, but I like. The way it felt doing just 10 or 5 of me. Alright, so this is gonna be my back. This will be my front. Now I have my book. I just gotta bind it. Alright, so I've got these at um, Hobby Lobby, I think, yeah. Alright. So we're supposed to put these over here on the side. Okay, like that. And just thread it through. Okay, so I have these on the side. Um, and I put those through, and I have a pair of wire cutters. I got the pink ones, and I'm going to cut this right here. Okay, and then turn it around behind. All right, and there's this little bar right over here and it tells you where to my wires are 5 8 and of course they don't have a 5 8 setting so we are going to experiment Okay, and I'm just going to stick that in here. Alright, looks like it's good. I am 
going to use a shim. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so that worked. All right, so there we go. I've got a little book together. All right, so here's my book, and I am going to. I just, you know, as you know, I use just the white sheets. I'm going to let my daughter decorate it. Um, I made it five by seven so that she could either use it to journal. Um, she can use it as a as a notebook this way, and. Um, or she can use it as a scrapbook. She can put some pictures in here or do a little bit of both. She likes to draw a lot, so um, I, I like it. I um, probably got these a little bit tight, but um, for a first, first go around, I'm pretty happy with it. So I think that she will enjoy it. I think that she will have fun decorating it, and hopefully I'll get to post a picture of the finished product. Um, She's 11, so she's going to, I think she'll have fun decorating it. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I went back, um, one of the things I did do was take the flip the cover, the back cover, over onto it like this when I put it together. That way it um, hides those rings. So, all right. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and check my blog, mycricutcloset.blogspot.com. And hopefully I'll have an updated picture of her finished book. Thanks for watching.